Hi and welcome to Love Life Live Life. I'm going to be demonstrating today how to make a butterfly ring. A beautiful ring. Uh, children especially love doing this project, children and young adults. And they should be able to follow the instructions themselves by watching the video and should be able to create their own ring without too much help. First, to begin, I'm just going to take a size 28 gauge strand of wire. I'm going to cut an 8 inch strand of wire with my wire cutters. And I'm going to go ahead and take out three colors of beads. I'm going to take out some silver seed beads. For the band of my ring. And I'm going to take out some sort of iridescent blue seed beads for the butterfly's wings. And I'm going to take a slightly larger black glass bead for the body of the butterfly. The reason for that is that you're going to want your wire to pass through the hole in the black bead four times. Now I'm just going to bend a U-shape at one end of my wire, just like this. And I'm going to pick up one of the silver seed beads. This is what I'm going to, uh, the color I'm going to be using for my band on the ring. And I'm going to let that bead fall to the center of the U. And then I'm going to sort of press the two pieces of wire together. And I'm going to strand about 15 beads. Okay, you'll need to strand the number of beads um, that will be large enough for the ring to fit halfway around your finger. Okay, you're going to let the beads just fall down over both pieces of those wires. Okay, I'm then going to put the one bead that I got out to be the bead that's going to be the body of the butterfly. Okay, that's the one that I showed you that had the hole that's a little bit bigger. Okay, I said your wire needed to be able to pass through it four times. I'm just going to strand that bead onto my wire. And then I'm going to string 14 of my iridescent blue seed beads. And I'm just picking them up with the wire. And I'm going to <clears throat> string the wire back through the hole of the back be black bead. And then I'm going to string another 14 beads, okay, to make the top wing of my butterfly. Another, the second top wing of my butterfly. And again, I'm just going to restring the wire through the black bead. Okay, And you might find you have to fidget with it a little bit just to get it through the hole of the black bead or whatever bead you choose. But you should be able to work it through and then start doing the bottom wings, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to use 18 beads for the bottom wing. Now if you're using larger beads, and again, I'm just going to go back through the hole of the black bead. If you're using larger beads, of course, for the wings of the butterfly, you're going to use a smaller number of beads. Okay. These are very tiny seed beads, so I'm just using a lot of them. And I'm just going to pull that tight. And again, I'm going to string another 18 beads. And I am going to finish my last wing, okay, by again 
restringing the wire through the black bead. Okay. So it might just barely come out of the other side. At this point, if you need to, you can take a little, uh, take some pliers and just pull your wire through that black bead. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to have the butterfly. And I'm going to finish the ring by just stringing again about 15 or 16 beads to finish the rest of the band of the ring. And 15 or 16 silver beads. Okay, now to finish your ring, <clears throat> when you first started the ring, you let a bead drop to the, sort of the center of a U shape. Okay, you're going to restring your wire okay, through that first bead and you're going to bend the wire okay, back towards the side that you just uh, strung beads on. And then I'm going to wrap the wire around the first bead okay, on the opposite side of where you first started the ring. Okay, and then I'm going to bring it back to the side of the ring where you have that U shape and the kind of loop at the end and I'm going to just take my wire and wrap it around the first bead on that side. Okay, that's going to secure all of your beads. Okay. And then again I'm going to take my wire clippers and just snip the little bit of wire that's left over and you have your butterfly ring. And this is going to be a pinky ring for me, I believe. It's a little small. Thanks for joining me at Love Life with Life. Oh, baby.